Alright guys, giving you a video update of Moses here working in the training room. Got a couple distractions around, um, dogs, um, working him through tight corners and making sure that he's healing well around objects. So lots of things that are really important to do in public. Um, dogs are sticking by our sides and not out sniffing. Um, really, really awesome stuff. So and we're doing everything off leash right now. Um, now for service dogs, when they're out in public, we want them on leash. Um, but we do train for off leash as well because if a dog can be obedient off leash, they're going to still be obedient on. So really good stuff. We got downing next to these dogs. Good job, Moe's. Good. So we got a little bit out of position there. And so Dana held down the e-collar and he's understanding the e-collar really well. So it helped him find that position. Good job, buddy. Good. Now Moses is a little bit, um, I call it, has some spatial insecurities. So um, sometimes healing close to, to somebody, for whatever reason, he's a little bit sensitive by it. And so um, we want to make sure that he's staying close in that heel position and, and uh, working through some of that stuff. Good. Dana's working on the weight, which is really functional out in public as well as just day-to-day -day stuff in the house. Dog's not bolting doors. That keeps dogs safe and also attentive to you. So as you leave your home, you ask him for a weight and he's paying attention and good things happen. Good decisions. Good. Good job. We want to make sure he knows the difference between the sit and the down. So. Um, for a service dog, especially a sit is a very functional thing. If they are a longer dog, he's not a huge dog, but it still keeps him tucked out of the way. And there are some times where down is more functional because it keeps the dogs a little bit more planted. And uh, anyway, so Dana's able to walk her way. You want to go out of sight? Yeah. And have him stay there. Good job. Even this dog's doing pretty good too. Good. People can walk by and pet him. You want to step over the top of him. So stepping over the top of a dog sometimes is an unnatural thing. And so you'll see he might get a little bit uncomfortable. Oh, he did pretty good with that. So good job. Oop, that was a little bit more uncomfortable. So it's, it's a very unnatural thing to go over the top of a dog. But in tight corners in public, a dog has to be prepared for anything that can happen. So we do a lot of this stuff to help condition him that... Um, he still needs to be obedient. So anyway, I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. We'll talk to you soon.